H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. And then, you know, I send a request over here for the emails of 7 p.m. batch. And then I get a response from the database, the list of the emails of 7 p.m. batch. Now tell me for this database, what language you use? Okay, and what is the tool that we can use? You tell me the language and I will tell you the tool. Yes, now you can use a SQL language. Okay, so database, you know, it is a machine and then or it is a software. So it understands the SQL language better, so talk to it in a SQL language. Okay, and what about the tool? We have a lot of tools that are available. For example, we have the SQL Server database, we have the Oracle Server editor. For the SQL Server, it comes with something called as a Management Studio. Okay, Management Studio is nothing but it is a screen or it is a tool in which you can type in the queries. Oracle editor will be there. We have something called as SQL Plus. Similarly, we have the Toad for Data Analyst. Okay. So now we will be using the stored for data analyst to write the queries for our database. Now again I am telling these are the tools okay. Because I am using a different tool my language is not going to change. Do you see here language remains the same. Tool could be anything. Here also my language is going to be the same. Tool could be anything. So you should not focus actually on learning the tool but you should focus on learning the language here. If you learn the language any tool you can use and then you can get the required data. Clear everybody? Okay, so I had asked you to install this stored for data analyst. Are you done with the installations? I had asked you to install it. Yes, some of you have not installed. No problem. I'll give you the link. You can install it. But some more basic things before that. Don't you want to know what exactly is a SQL? Yes? No? You should know it, okay? Yes. See, SQL, it was introduced in mid-1970s by IBM. And that time it was called as SQL. S-E-Q-U-E-L, it was called as SQL. Then later IBM changed the name to SQL. Okay, and SQL means Structured Query Language. And still we pronounce it as a SQL itself. It is the same thing. SQL or SQL, it's going to be the same. Okay. Then we have the Oracle. This is the first to bring the SQL into the market. Then we have the T SQL over here. So there will be a lot of competitors, okay, if something becomes popular, everybody want to implement it under their own brand name. So we have the Transact SQL here, TSQL, it was introduced by Sabis and then it was, uh, you know, implemented by the Microsoft. So in if you are using the Microsoft SQL Server, you can name it as the Transact SQL. If you are using the Oracle, you can simply call it as a SQL, but it's the same language, 
Okay, whether it is a SQL or a T SQL, you should write the queries in the same way. The same select, the same insert, the structure do not change. There could be some minor changes, but other than that, not much. Okay, so SQL stands for the structured query language. And we pronounce it as SQL or SQL. Okay. So now we will try to use a toad and then we will try to see how to execute a couple of queries. Let me send you the link here in the chat box if you have not installed it. It was sent in the previous class but I am going to send it again. Okay, I am going to take the session for another 15 minutes. I am sending the link here in the chat box. So everybody click on this link, download it, install it. Or you can do one thing, save the link for now, okay, and then you can install it after the class. And I will give you some steps that you can follow. Okay, so let me give you some steps, okay, so that you can practice it after the class. So after you do the installation, you should be able to see this kind of icon on your computer. Toad for Data Analyst Freeware 3.0, okay. And then you open the Toad like this. You double click on that and then open the Toad software and you should be able to see this kind of screen okay now don't do anything on your computer just observe the steps first of all note the steps and then you can try it out later okay first step you should open the toad okay double click and open the toad do you see here the toad sample database in the corner of my screen everybody do you see here Okay, I need to double click on it and then first of all get connected to my database. The moment I get connected to my database, the green color symbol will appear here. And apart from that, the list of tables that are present in the uh, sample database will appear. And also if you click on the different tables here, you must be able to view the different columns. Clear everybody? So what is the first step? Open the toad. Connect to database. Okay. These are the two steps. Then there is a tools here. Go to the tools. Click on the first option editor. Editor opens. And here you can start typing the query. For example I type here select star from contact table. What does this mean? I am saying that get all the columns from contact table. Do you see here contact is one of the table. And when I say star from contact it means that I want to see all the columns that are present in the contact. After I write the query I click here in the bottom run SQL 
you should be able to see the result. So it is getting me all the columns that are present here in the contact table. Do you see? List of all the columns is present here. So the steps are after you connect to the database, you need to go to the tools. And under the tools, you have an option. The first option which says editor. Once the editor opens, you start typing the query. The first query that I type, it is select star from any table name you can give. Contact table, address table, any table which gets you the data that is present in the table. After you write the query, you got to click on run SQL at the bottom of SQL. So you write the query and then click on the run SQL. You should be able to see the results. Now note down these steps. Okay, note down the steps. Okay, so this is a query to get the list of all the columns from the contact table. Can you write a query to get all the columns from the address table? Write a query to get all the columns from the address table. Okay, write a query to get all the columns from the address table. Divya, what you can do is share your screen with me. So that I can check why you are not getting. Okay. And if you have any query that is not getting executed, if you are getting an error, you should post it on the chat box. Okay. In case you are not going to get the, I mean, if you are not able to understand any query, you need to write it on my chat box. Okay. Divya, do you see the tools on the top in the menu? Where is your menu? Yes. Please click on that. Do you see the first option there, editor? This is it. Okay. It is not case sensitive. Okay. You need not write everything in the uppercase. So if you want to get the all columns from address, you can mention here address and execute run SQL in the bottom. Is it clear? Okay. Any doubts still here anybody? Mona Lisa, you are getting the error message. Please paste your query here in my chat box. You should not type more than one query in a editor one query in editor okay not more than one if you're typing more than one you'll get the error only if you have the tool related issues i'll be seeing your computer and if you have any errors in the query you should paste the query on my chat box Rohini, I make you the presenter, so please show me your screen. Srinivas, these tables are present in the database. The sample database that has got installed along with this toad. Rohini, I am waiting for you. So can you show me where you have downloaded? Can you please minimize the screen 
and show me where you have downloaded okay do you see there on the second line from the last from the last second line you have their fourth icon which says stored for data analyst please double click on that yes that one beside your team viewer yes correct double click on it now just wait wait for few minutes Nothing is happening, Rohini? Yeah. Can I click on continue? Yes, continue. Okay, just wait. It will install. Okay, and then go on clicking on the next button. It will get installed. Divya, did you click on run? Did you click on the run button? Just click on the next, Rohini. Every time go on clicking on the next button. It will ask you to accept the license. You accept it. It will ask you the organization name. Leave it as blank. Okay. Divya, do you see here in the bottom of screen? There is a run button. So you should click on the run SQL button. Okay. Okay. Deepa, you are getting the error. Are you writing more than one query in the editor? If yes, you get the error. Otherwise, please paste your query on my chat box. So that I can check it. Okay. So this much you will practice today. And in the next session, we will see. Some more queries. Okay, so we are going to meet tomorrow 7 p.m. Eastern and we will be discussing some more queries. Okay. Okay then. So we will close the session and then we will meet 7 p.m. Eastern. 7 to 8 Raga. Okay. And we will meet tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Up to 8. Okay. Okay then. Take care everybody. Have a good night. Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.